between two conflicting testimonies. Okay, my lovers, they did it. Fox News, they cracked the case, honey. Voter fraud, you know what it is. Joe Biden didn't really win because voter fraud. I'm not really sure what the fraud is, honestly, um, that is widespread. I'm not really sure what kind of fraud we're talking about. I think, ultimately... We're talking about either dead people are voting or I don't really know what uh, or votes are just coming in from somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, Laura Ingram has cracked the case on Fox News. She's cracked it. She did it. She did it. It's all good, Amis. We, we rest assured we about to crack this case and, and Trump's about to overturn this shit. And he's about to win the presidency. Y'all didn't know. See, y'all was just messing around with with the uh, democracy, thinking it was just gonna be y'all were just gonna uh, get get go to the graveyard and start getting ballots from the grave. You y'all thought it was gonna be so easy. You don't realize that Trump was was gonna be so difficult to beat. Well, Laura Ingham, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's let's crack let's crack this caper, cousin sister. With the shocking details. Now, we're going to be concealing her identity, even disguising her voice over her own safety concerns. This sounds spine tingly dingly. OMG, I cannot wait. I knew Donald Trump was the real winner. I just knew it. There's no way after all those four years and the job he did that people would reject him and want to choose anyone else. A half awake, half, b you know what, I don't want to talk too much shit about Joe, Joe, Joe Biden. Sleepy Joe, we'll call him Sleepy Joe. All right. He got beat by Sleepy Joe. You know what? If I was MAGA, I would be pissed too. I lose into a sleepy ass old man when Trump was such a rock star. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, the voice has been disguised to protect this person. Let, let's see what's good, Loring. I, I am positively tingled. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, you saw something suspicious. We're going to get right into it tonight. Happening on the side of a Biden-Harris van in the parking lot of the polling station. Now, walk the audience through what happened. I went out to go for a walk on my break, and I probably had a 150, 175-foot stretch where I was walking. The, the Biden van was parked along this stretch, and I was walking to it, so about 150 feet. I was walking, and I could see these people hand over what appeared to be white envelopes, just hand over onto this table. And as I got closer, the envelopes were being torn open, there were two men or two people dropping the envelopes and two people ripping them open and turning and facing the van and drawing on them or marking them. And as I got closer, you know, as I was walking, they would put things down and pick more paper up and mark on the van and then put it down and pick some more up. And as I got closer, I thought those are ballots and I did it. OK, OK, hold on. Filled out the ballots against the side of filled out the ballots against the side of the Harris Biden van. What what does that mean? Okay, let's read the headline. Nevada poll worker, I saw rampant voter fraud. Okay, so that's what this claim is. I'm, I'm, and then they put up this document. It's so small that I can barely I, I cannot read it. So I don't I think it's there to look like it's a it's official. It's something official, but it's it's illegible. I mean, I get the benefit of watching it over and pausing it and taking a very, very close inspection. But if you were watching this in real time on cable news and it was just passing you by, there, there would be no way to read that. So I'm not sure why it's on the screen, um, but whatever. It, 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 it gives it like a look. It's an, it gives it an aesthetic. Although it's not in, it's not informative in any way. And that headline here, the the the, 
the filled out ballots. That's just odd. That's a filled out the ballots against the side of the Biden Harris fan. It's just a weird. It's it's kind of confusing. I, didn't, I, mean, I was in my polling um, uniform, uniform basically. basically, and as I walked by, I looked. In my polling uniform. Okay, well, it must be official then. And I thought those are ballots, and I. It kind of was an odd, like, what are they doing? There were four total people, but only two were marking and opening the envelopes and the paper. And as it took about a six-minute walk to walk this parking lot, and I did it. I just walked my entire lunch hour. And so I came around the second time, and they're still opening and marking the ballots. But you didn't and say I, anything? You didn't say anything when you first saw it? I mean, how close were you to be able to see a ballot? Well, I was, as I was walking towards them, I was, you know, like... That, that, that was it. Okay. Official polling uniform. I don't know that there's such a thing as a polling uniform. Let, let me... Let's go back a little bit. Two men, or two people, and was parked along this stretch. And I was walking to it, so about 150 feet, I was walking and I could see these people hand over what appeared to be white envelopes, just hand over onto this table. And as I got closer, the envelopes were being torn open there were two men or two people dropping the envelopes and two people ripping them open and turning and facing the van and drawing on them or marking them. And as I got closer, you know, as I was walking, they would put things down and pick more paper up and mark on the van and then put it down and pick some more up. And as I got closer, I thought, those are ballots. And I didn't, you know, I was in my polling. Oh, um, okay, okay. So, 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 so. So, she walked, she was going on her little walk, her little break. She walked up to a polling van, and then at that polling van, she saw people filling out ballots, or, or what was, well, she f saw them doing something, and then she, on a closer inspection, she went up, and she was like, Th those are ballots. Um... And so, so I'm to believe that if I were, if I were to do some fraud in the name of Biden Harris, I would do it in a parking lot where anyone could walk up next to me. I would do it by a, a van branded Biden Harris. And I'd be like, oh, you caught me. And I'd be like standing right next to the van. The bra ah, that is so, that is in incredible okay let's be real for a second let's be real 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 for a second okay this is fox news and they pretend to be about law and order but really folks ladies and gentlemen for those who are like ha, not funny it's not a joke if you actually see something sus suspicious don't go to fox news you know go to the police <laughs> Like, go directly to the police. Yes, the police that we want to defund. <laughs> Call the, the police department and say, at this address, at this location, on my lunch break, give them the time and say, I saw these things. Don't tell Laura Ingram. I mean, maybe tell her after you've told the police. You know, understand the importance of a police record. A police record is just a record of something you saw, something that happened. That way, you can prove it later, right? If I want to go on Fox News TV or go to the, you know, CNN, whatever, and say, oh, this is something that happened, make sure the first, like, if you were telling me that story, the first thing I would say, Laura Ingram, is you went to the police, right? And reported it directly, right? You know, um... Why, I mean, like, why Why is that never discussed? It's like, like they always talk about law and order and, and this, and the, but it's like when it's time to do law and order, you're, you're not doing it. Like, it, it's very basic. Like, anybody, if you see 
um, if you see um, voter fraud, if you see voter fraud, just report it or something. If you think it's voter fraud, just call 911, call the police, say, hey, hey, this is what's going on. That way they have a record of it. If it turns out later that it's actually fraud, your report might help bust the case open. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that, it's like, come on now. That's so silly. It's so ridiculous. Okay, now here's another one. Laura Ingram. <laughs> Laura Ingram had another guest on to talk about a similar issue about a voter fraud issue. And uh, I would uh, want you to watch this one because this one is actually really, this is actually a lot more factual. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, you saw something suspicious. We're going to get right into it tonight. Happening on the side of a Biden-Harris van in the parking lot of the polling station. Now, walk the audience through what happened. Ah, well, hi there, Laura. I am a big fan of yours. I've been watching your show for so long, and I think you've done so much for this country. And uh, so I was on my break. I go outside when I take my breaks at the polling station. I just do my, you know, uh, Bible break. I like to go out there reading my Bible and stuff when I'm breaking. And that's when I seen it. It was a big van. I'm talking like really scary. Like I didn't know if the man in there had candy. I mean, it was terrible. It was a big van. And that's when I seen it. He opened that back door, Laura. <laughs> And he took a dump right there in the parking lot and then began to urinate. And that's when I believe the good Lord, his, the good Lord has spoke to me, Lord, and told me that this man was changing the votes from inside the voting area with demonic stool and urination. And I just, I had to say something, so that's why I called that hotline. And, Lord, I am feel so blessed to be here today. And like I said, you've done so much for this country. And it's just a blessing. That's all I can say. So God bless you. And I love this Milky Way bar dress you're wearing. It's gorgeous. Thank you again. 